Gold Rush fans were thrilled to see Rick and ES make a comeback in season 14 eager to witness his journey towards redemption however, alongside the emotional turmoil and personal revelations and finds himself entangled in allegations of owing money to his former team members particularly Gold Rush Hauer and Chris Cruz, the unsettled debts Chris Cruz, a long-standing member of Team Rally handpicked by Rick Nieces, recently took to Instagram to to share his new acquisition a 1972 Gran Torino, purchased with the hard-earned money from gold mining in his post Cruz not only showcased his new classic car, but also shed light on an unresolved issue with his former leader recounting the past crows revealed that last year, during their Yukon expedition Rick NES, was conspicuously absent NES, later attributed his absence to seasonal affective disorder, but confessed at the beginning of the current season that he had used cocaine to cope with mental health issues. This revelation marked a turning point as NES vowed to clean up his lifestyle and assemble a new crew, with a determination to succeed the unanswered call, despite Nessa's commitment to a fresh start, it seems he has yet to resolve issues from his past. Chris Crow's Instagram post highlighted the fact that he has not heard from Ames, nor has as he received the money owed to him, the absence of communication has left Cruz and possibly their former team. Members in a state of uncertainty and financial strain, Ness's confession and isolation, while season 14 is at its halfway point Rick Ness's return to old mining in March, after a brief hess during which he sold his mother's house in Wisconsin to fund his return however. The reconciliation with his former crew has proven elusive NES admitted to isolating himself, from everyone a revelation that adds complexity to this situation the absence of Nessa's old crew in season 14 raises eyebrows and invites speculation about the reasons behind their departure, while allegations of unsettled debts come from one side. The fact that Nessa's previous team did not return with him is a notable coincidence. The audience is left to wonder where financial disputes end. Unmet obligations played a role in the fragmentation of the once tight-knit team. While it's crucial to approach this situation with caution and acknowledge that we've only heard one side of this story, the absence of Rick Nessa's old crew, except for his friend, San Season 4, raises intriguing questions while it cannot be definitively stated that NES owes money based on the limited Information available several inferences can be made from the circumstances Rick. Nessa's return to gold mining after a hiatus that involved selling his mother's house to fund his comeback points towards potential fiend and cow. Struggles the need to liquidate assets to finance his return could imply that NES was facing monetary challenges, possibly contributing to their strained relationships within the team isolation and personal struggles Ness's admission of isolating himself from everyone adds. A layer of complexity to the situation. Personal struggles as revealed by Ness's. Acknowledgement of using cocaine to cope with mental health issues may have strained relationships and led to his crew members not returning for season four. Leadership dynamics the hand-picked crew members from previous seasons choosing not to return could indicate dissatisfaction with leadership dynamics or disagreements within the team. If financial issues were indeed a factor it might have influenced their decision not to continue work working under Ness's leadership as Rick NES strives for success in season 14 of Gold Rush. Allegations of our money to former team. Members cast a shadow over his journey of redemption, the unresolved issue. Issues with Chris Cruz and others add a layer of complexity to Nessa's return, leaving fans in treat and highly anticipating how these personal challenges will unfold on the discovery. Thank you.